Yeah, I think at the point that the character is at the start of the story, I mean, he's, you know, he's pretty grumpy. Um, he's uh, come to the realization that the, uh, he's got as far as he can get um, in the, the Royal Navy. Um, although he is British, because Ireland, the, the country, is part of the British Empire and there's been no, um, the, um, the Republic hasn't happened yet. He's still considered to be Irish, so there's a glass ceiling. And he knows that um, if and when they find the Northwest Passage, he'll be written out of the story. It will be Franklin and Fitzjames. And um, so he starts off as a very, a very bitter and disappointed person. Um, and he has, you know, arguably he's the, he's the most experienced of any of the people on board, the shipping blankie. Uh, although he's, he hasn't had the experience of command, his experience of the Arctic is probably greater than his, but he's the most experienced officer there and should have been in charge. So he starts off from this very isolated place, and you know, it was like, oh, we haven't, you haven't seen three, but he, he gets a, he gets a well, he gets, it's on tonight, on AMC, <laughs> at 9 p.m. Uh, 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 he gets a fairly accurate dressing down uh, from Franklin that really kind of exposed some, some home truths about him and about his nature and how he has brought himself to this point. I can't give too much uh, away, but um, he obviously, it changes because you know, every character goes through a metamorphosis in the story.